Minneapolis housing agency was hacked four weeks ago, and some landlords tell us they're just now getting notifications about what's going on. Fox 59 was the first to tell you about that hack, and a cybersecurity expert tells us the agency may have to spend millions of dollars mm. to recover, and it's already been struggling as an agency. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid broke the story. He joins us now in the studio with the latest on these new developments. Russ, good, good afternoon, Dan and Beer Shell. This is a copy of the first email one Section 8 landlord has ever received from IHA admitting that there was a hack on its system and promising to make good on overdue payments and maybe late fees. At least now. Section 8 landlord April Garten was bouncing checks on her bank account because she didn't know IHA was late making its rent payment. I actually still on my property have a mortgage payment that wasn't paid, you know, so that put me in a bad spot. The agency finally sent April this email this morning, claiming it's been attempting to notify its clients, partners, and public, quote, through all available means. I'm saying you're a day too late, a few, a more than a day too late. I mean, we should have been notified instantly. One cybersecurity expert says Russian hackers go after public school districts and agencies that are susceptible because of underfunding of IT systems and protection. Probably similarly with uh, the, the Indianapolis Housing Authority, um, knowing that it's probably not the most well-funded organization on the planet. Sabah says the IHA intrusion could have begun nine months ago and may take well into next year to fix. The average cost of a Ransomware attack, uh, you know, for an organization of this size can be, you know, upwards of, you know, $5 million, just, just the response aspect of it. And that's not even bringing in, um, you know, any, any fines that may come with it. IHA Interim Executive Director Marsha Lewis turned down a request for an interview. So we don't know if IHA is paying a ransom, how far along it is in recovering its system, or what it's doing to make sure it doesn't get hit again. That same organization will say, hey, if you don't pay us again, we're actually going to release the information that we stole while we are encrypting your information, and you have to pay us again. Experts tell us that residents and partners with IHA should assume the cyber thieves have all their sensitive data. They should start monitoring their accounts, maybe even change the passwords and account numbers, and advise their creditors they're potentially paying the price for IHA's problems. Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. All right.